Welcome back to our free Linux course. My name is Emmanuel and I teach beginners how to start a DevOps career. In today's video, I'll explore the seven reasons why Linux is better than Windows in an enterprise environment. We both know Windows is very popular, but why do many companies choose Linux when they are trying to set up servers to deploy their applications? Today, we will explore how Linux helps businesses work smarter, save money, and improve security. Now, the knowledge or the information you're going to get in this video can be a real advantage in IT, especially uh, as we explore how powerful Linux can be for large business environments. So without taking much of your time, let's get started. So why is Linux better than Windows? Now, I'm not trying to, you know, discourage people that are out there and they are using Windows, you know. If you're using Windows, great for you. Um, I'm not trying to discourage you. Maybe Windows is the ideal solution for your current situation, right? I'm not trying to discourage you. So what I'm trying to do here is that if you're someone who's studying, you know, and you, or you're someone who's thinking of choosing between Linux and Windows, this video is for you. And if you're using Windows, please drop a comment below and let us know your experience with Windows. So let's see the seven reasons why Linux is better than Windows. So the first one will be cost. Cost, meaning that which one is less expensive, right? So let's start with Linux. Since Linux is open source, companies do not need to pay for a license. It means that they can download it, install it on their servers, and start using it without having to pay for a license. But Windows, on the other hand, requires a license. And most of the time, Windows can become really expensive when you have multiple servers, right? So when it comes to cost saving, Linux is the ideal operating system in case you're thinking of saving money so the second point we're going to talk about is security so which one is more secure is it windows or is it linux so linux is less vulnerable to viruses as a result companies that deploy their application on linux do not have to worry about their data because once it's on linux it's kind of safe right but windows on the other hand is a bigger target for hackers and viruses right as a result of this it requires companies running application on windows to do more maintenance work in order to keep the systems secured and there have been rumors that you know microsoft has been hacked i'm going to use the word allegedly that Microsoft has been hacked multiple times, including January of 2024, March of 2022, and 2021. So when it comes to security, if you have an application and you're thinking of deploying it um, on a server and you're thinking of an operating system that's secured, in my opinion, I would tell you that choose Linux over Windows. Now let's go to the third point. The third point here is customization and flexibility. Which one is more customizable, right? And we're going to start again with Linux, right? Companies can literally take Linux and modify it to fit their needs. It means if you want Linux to work in a certain way or behave in a certain way, you can do it. And that's why there are a lot of Linux distributions out there. In my next video, I'm going to be talking about what a Linux distribution is and the best type of Linux distributions that are out there. So when it comes to Linux, it's easily customizable. It means you take it and you change it and you you know you make it look and sound the way you want right but windows on the other hand has fewer customization options it means if you want to customize um uh, windows to a certain extent you will need you know external tools in order to do that and at times some of those tools are not compatible with windows and you have to reach out to microsoft for help and that is a whole mess so when it comes to customization and flexibility linux is definitely the operating system to go in case you're thinking of deploying your application on a server now let's talk about performance on older hardware 
which one performs better on older hardware it means the hardware is old uh, maybe it's maybe it's hardware you got back in uh, 2010 and we are in 2024 14 years later which operating system will run well on older hardware so let's start with linux so the first thing you have to know is that linux runs smoothly on older machines so as a result of this um it helps save companies a lot of money on hardware upgrade so when you're running linux on a hardware you don't have to worry about upgrading that hardware unless that hardware has gotten to a point where you definitely have to upgrade it windows on the other hand often require powerful hardware to run so as a result of this companies may be required to upgrade their hardware whenever a new version of you know windows comes out and therefore when you're running your application on windows you tend to spend a lot of money on hardware upgrade but there is a way you can get out of this if you're running your application in the cloud right because when you're running your application in the cloud the entire hardware part of your application is managed by the cloud provider but if you're building your own data center definitely you will be forced to upgrade your hardware each time a uh, window a new version of window comes out and it's not compatible with your old hardware so when it comes to running either windows or uh, linux on older hardware linux wins the fifth point is stability and reliability which one is more stable and which one is more reliable when you deploy an application on a server you want to make sure that that server is stable and that server is reliable because the very moment something happens to it your application goes down and if it goes down you have unhappy customers and when you have unhappy customers you tend to lose money so when it comes to stability and reliability which of these two operating systems uh it's a good choice so let's start with Linux. So the first thing you have to know uh, about Linux is that Linux rarely crashes. So because of this, businesses that run their applications on Linux tend to experience fewer disruptions. But on the other hand, Windows is not like that. Windows, however, uh, tend to be unstable after an update it means uh, you can perform a windows update and the entire system will be unstable which may lead to application downtime and frustration right let's go to the sit point and let's talk about this uh, on this sit point i want you to know that linux is designed to handle server attacks efficiently making it a top choice for managing websites and databases now windows servers can be more complex to maintain and sometimes have some compatibility issues with uh, specific server tools right so if you're looking for uh, an operating system which you want to install on your server and it's easy for you to use to manage your website and database you know linux is definitely the the choice to go so these are just some points that we have seen right we've seen costs we have said Linux is the best option when it comes to cost. We have seen security. Uh, we have seen that Linux is the best option when it comes to you know security. We have seen customization and flexibility. We have said Linux is definitely the best option when it comes to customization and flexibility. And when you see out there, there are multiple distributions of Linux. That's just to let you know that you can definitely take Linux and you can do whatever thing you want to do with it. We have seen performance on older hardware, and we have seen that when you run Linux on older hardware, it performs great but when you do run windows on older hardware and an update comes out you're forced to upgrade that hardware and we've also talked about stability and reliability and we've seen that uh Linux really crashes right it's difficult to you know see someone or hear someone say oh my Linux server crashes extremely difficult uh but windows tends to be unstable whenever you perform an update so you can literally perform an update and you start having issues with your you know windows server maybe after the update the 
uh, the the Windows operating system is no more compatible with the hardware or you start having different issues. Then we've also talked about which one is great to manage websites and databases. And we've seen that, you know, Windows is definitely designed, uh, sorry, Linux is definitely designed to manage uh, you know, websites and databases. But when it comes to Windows, it can be complex to actually run and manage your website and your databases on Windows. So what is the last point? The last point is a large community support. Which one has the biggest community support? Linux has a gigantic online community with plenty of free resources, right? I know, I know what you're saying. I know you're saying, hey, Emmanuel, um, uh, Windows also has a large community support. You can literally, you know, get whatever information you want. I'm not refusing it. I'm not refusing it. But what you're forgetting to, to also mention is that most of the support that comes from Windows is for their paid services. It's paid. So you have to pay for it, right, in order to get that support. But with Linux, most of the support is, is free, right, because of its huge, you know, community that's online. So, guys, that's seven reasons why Linux is better than Windows. Still, let me repeat myself. I'm not trying to talk down on Windows. I know there are companies out there that are using Windows. And if you're a, a Windows user and if you love it, please let us know in the comment below what you love about Windows. So all I'm trying to do with this comparison is to help you understand that Linux can be a more robust choice in enterprise environment especially when trying to balance cost security flexibility customization scalability and all these things that come with running an application thank you for watching this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe and share this video to someone who was interested in learning linux see you in my next video bye